Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve number sentences using the order of operations. Another name for it that you may have heard of is BODMAS, brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now the order of operations is going to be used throughout primary school and also throughout high school. So if you've seen it in primary school, you're also going to see it a lot and you're going to use it a lot in high school and it's going to be very important for you to understand it and become very very good at it for you to solve complex problems in the later years of high school. Okay, let's see how the order of operations work then I'll show you examples and you'll notice how easy it is. Okay, let's get started. Now, looking at here we can see that the order of operations there are certain steps. There are actually three steps that we have to follow. First, we have to look for what we call the brackets or the parentheses. In a number sentence, if we see the brackets or the parentheses, we have to complete them first. That is the first stage. Once we complete the brackets and the parentheses, then we have to move on and look for a multiplication or a division. We do that second. So first we have the brackets, then we have the multiplication and division we have to complete second. After we complete the multiplication and division, we then have to move on and look for a plus or a minus, addition and subtraction, and complete that process in the last stage. So, first of all, we complete the brackets, then we complete multiplication and division, then we complete on the last stage the addition and subtraction. Always working from left to right and you're going to see throughout the examples how we're going to solve them. They are easy and it's very important for you to be a master at it. I'm going to show you several examples and after the examples you'll notice this is a piece of cake. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start easy and then we'll get harder. Now as you see I've always shown you examples that are simple then we get more complex. This is how I've always managed to improve the skills of my students throughout the years and they've come through a long way during that time. Okay, in this case here we have an example that says in brackets 6 plus 4 close bracket divided by 2. So here we notice we have to follow the order of operations. The order of operations says we have to do the brackets first. So here we see brackets we have 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 we know is 10 so 6 plus 4 is 10, we completed the brackets. The next stage after the brackets is the division. So 10 divided by 2, our answer is 5. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, we've completed the brackets first, then we go to multiplication and division. In this case here, we have a division, we complete that 10 divided by 2, our answer is 5. Let's move on and see another example. In this number sentence here, we have in brackets 16 take away 8 and then multiplied by 3. So first and foremost, we always look for brackets first and we complete them first. In this case, we have brackets, so we finish them off first. 16 take away 8, our answer for the brackets is 8. Then we look for a times or a divide. In this case here, there is a multiplication at times. 8 times 3, our answer is 24. So we complete the brackets, everything inside the brackets has to be completed first, and then we look for a multiplication or a division in the second stage. Yes, here we have a multiplication, 8 times 3 is 24. What you've also noticed is that I'm always having the equal sign under the actual question. This is very important for you to get used to. It's an important step later on in high school. There are several topics that we're going to cover that, in, that need for us to work down the page as I'm working through here. Very important. Get used to that habit. Your equal always goes under the question or the number sentence. Another example. We look at it and we see 4 plus 9 is in brackets. Take away 12 divided by 4 also in brackets. So we follow the order of operations straight away. We look for brackets. Yes, we have brackets here. 4 plus 9, 13. 
So that's completed. Then 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 13 take away 3 is 10. So as you can see, I've completed the brackets. I've finished them off. 13 on this side. This bracket, 3 is the total there. Then I look for a times or a divide. There is no times and divide, but we have a plus or a minus. Yes, we have a minus. 13 take away 3. Our answer is 10. Then we look at another example. And we notice here it gets a little bit more complicated. But if we follow the steps, you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. Let's go through and see how easy it is. We look for, what do you think first? We look for the brackets. Okay, we notice here we have brackets. We also have brackets inside the brackets. What do we do? Very important. Remember this rule. We always start from the inside brackets first and then we come outside. So from inside, then come outside and then finish off the number sentence. In this case here, we have to start from the inside, which is the inside bracket, 12 take away 6. 12 take away 6 is 6. Then we've completed the inside bracket there. We move on and we do the parenthesis, which is 6 times 6, which is 36. In this case, as you can see, we have completed everything inside everything inside the open brackets and the closed brackets inside here. We got 36 as our total for that. Then we noticed what do we do next? We look for a times and divide. There is no times and divide, but we know it's a plus or a minus, which is a third stage. 4 plus 36. And our answer is 40. So let's go through it one more time. We look for brackets first. In this case, we notice we had brackets inside large brackets. So we complete the brackets inside first, inside, then come out. Inside, 12 take away 6 is 6. We finish that. Then we come out. We notice 6 times 6 is 36. We've completed everything inside the larger bracket or parenthesis. Completed that. Then 4 plus 36, our answer is 40. Let's move on. Again, follow the steps. If you like, think about this one carefully and you can move with me and see if you're getting it right as I'm doing it as well. Looking at this number sentence, we notice we have a big parenthesis or a brackets. Then we have brackets inside divided by 9. We notice we have a bracket inside a bracket. Where do we start? From inside first. 16 plus 2 18. We've completed now this section here. Then 18 divided by 9, we have 2. So we've completed everything inside here, and our result was 2. That's all complete now. Our answer there is 2. Then 2 times 3, our answer is 6. So as you can see, we complete inside, then we come outside, we finish everything inside the brackets, then we come outside and we notice here we have a multiplication, 2 times 3 equals 6. So as you can see, very straightforward. I would like to do some more examples for you. The more examples I do for you, the better you're going to become, the more confident you're going to become, and you're going to notice this is easy, and you're going to use it throughout your time. Let's do some more examples. Hey guys, let's do some more examples and we'll finish this off and you'll notice how simple and quick we can do these. Okay, going through, we said we do brackets first, then multiplication division, and then plus and minus. Now in this case here, in this example, we notice, do we have any brackets? No, we don't have any brackets. So we move on and we notice here we have a fraction, 12 plus 8 divided by 2. We always do the top first, very important. So the top says 12 plus 8, everything, everything is divided by 2, very important. Everything is divided by 2. I've seen too many students 
where they make a mistake not realizing that everything on top is divided by the denominator which is down the bottom. 12 plus 8, 20. We've completed the top. Now, 12 plus 8, the total is 20. 20 divided by 2, and our answer is 10. So we complete the top. 12 plus 8, everything is divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. We'll move on here, and we can see 7 squared plus 4 times 2. Now, the little 2 on top is squared. And in a previous lesson, we mentioned that squared means a number multiplied by itself. So in this case, 7 squared, meaning 7 times 7. 7 squared means 7 times 7. So we have 7 times 7 plus 4 times 2. So let's follow the order of operations. Are there any brackets? No, there's no brackets. So let's move on. We look for a times or a divide, and then we move on to plus and minus. So we start with times and divide. Yes, we have a times because here, 7 squared means 7 times 7. And we have another times here, which is 4 times 2. So 7 times 7, 49, plus 4 times 2 is 8. We complete the multiplication here, the multiplication here. Then we move on and we can see, yes, we have a plus 49 plus 8. And our answer, our final solution will be 57. So as you can see, 7 squared, 7 times 7, a number that times itself. 7 times 7 plus 4 times 2. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 4 times 2, which is 8. 49 plus 8, our solution is 50. Seven. Let's move on, and we can see here that we don't have brackets once again, so move to the next stage. We're working left to right, and we notice when we go left, we have a plus and we have a times, we have a minus and then we have a times. We always do the times and divide before the plus and the minus. So we are going to complete these first. We can put brackets around them to make it easier for us, and we're going to complete that first. Very important. I've seen too many students. They do the wrong thing. They forget to do the order of operation. And they go 6 plus 5. Never. Very important. You do the multiplication first. 5 times 2. 10. Then 3 times 2. 6. So we complete our times first. Please, very important that you pay attention to this and you can look carefully at the number sentence so you don't make a mistake. You go into the exam or you do your homework and you realize you've got a lot of things wrong because you didn't pick out that important step. We look for multiplication or division first before we do plus and minus all the time. So now we've completed the times, completed the times here. Now we can move on to the next step. 6 plus 10 is 16. We can write it here if we like as a second line of working out. 6 plus 10 is 16. Take away the 6 on this side. 16 take away 6, and our answer is 10. So it's very important that we follow the steps and we, make a mis we won't make a mistake. 6 plus 10, 16, 16, take away 6, and our answer is 10 at this. So let's complete this. We look for brackets first. We don't have any brackets. So what do we do next? We look for a times and divide. Okay, working from left to right, we have a divide here, plus minus, oh, another divide on this side. Very critical that we can see that. Okay, let's do it. 14 divided by 2, 7, plus 6, minus 14 divided by 2, is 7 once again. Now, we've completed our division, 7 plus 6, 13, 13, take away 7, our answer is 6. So as you can see, Looks like a long number sentence. You would think that you're going to get a large uh, solution. However, simply, once you do it correctly, we got an answer of 6. 14 divided by 2 is 7. That's completed. 14 divided by 2 is 7. That's completed. Then we follow and we go to the last stage, which is plus and minus 7 plus 6 minus 7, working from left to right, as you can see. Those examples, and the more that you do, 
at home, you'll find it that you become very good at it and you also become very fast. Follow the steps and you will never have any problem whatsoever.